Hi, good day. So, uh, welcome again to our uh, AST3 class with a descriptive title of Reproductive Animal Physiology. So, at this time, we will discuss about the reproductive system of farm animals. So, uh, uh, before we are going to start into a proper discussion, let's have first uh, some terms related to these topics. So, um, the first uh, term is reproduction. So, reproduction is the process of procreation and multiplication of species. So, take note of the word procreation and multiplication. So, what do we mean when we say procreate? So, Procreate means uh, an animal will produce the same animal. Hens will not lay eggs and at the time batching, there will be a pig, piglet that will come out from the shell. So, each animals are procreating and they are having that process both natural and artificial and multiplication so because of reproduction animals will multiply because of procreations procreation process animals will increase their number as to their population okay so reproduction Through reproduction, the animals that we are raising will procreate and multiply. For us to produce more, for us to uh, produce more products out of their population. So that is one thing why reproduction was considered as the major basis of animal production. Major basis of animal production. So because most of the animal products were produced through reproduction. Okay, what are those products produced by reproduction? Or products that can be produced through a reproductive process. The first example is the egg. A hen... A, pol a female poultry cannot produce egg without a process of reproduction. And a rooster cannot produce egg. So the hen will undergo a process of reproduction for them to produce eggs. Okay, milk. The female animal, the female livestock, can produce only milk, but can produce only milk if they have to pass a process of pregnancy. They will be bred, they will become pregnant in order for them to produce milk. So, no female animals can produce milk without pregnancy. So, kung dalaga siya, nga may gatas, gapadalaga dalaga lang na. Kaya gadala gatas. Okay. Meat. You cannot produce meat by killing only one animal. They have to undergo reproduction process, they have to procreate, they have to multiply in order for you to produce milk. So, without reproduction, we cannot produce milk. Killing one animal will not increase their population. So, meat. What else? Okay, we have other products such as leather. The poultry feeders. Those are the products that we can produce only through reproduction. That is the reason why reproduction was considered as the major basis of 
animal production. Okay, talking with the production, there are two types. We have sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. When we say sexual reproduction, this is the true union of male and female gametes. There is a fertilization process. Male and female gametes or sex cells. So for male, we have sperm cell. For female, we have egg cell. Okay, sexual reproduction. Done through organs other than reproductive organs. Done through organs other than reproductive organs. A reproduction process done through organs other than reproductive organs. So it involves other organs than reproductive organs. So that is referring for a biotechnology that we can discuss in our later discussion under the subject. Okay, fertilization is the process of the union of six gametes. The union of um, sperm cell or spermatozoa or the egg cell or the ovum or the ova. So zygote, when there is fertilization, zygote will form. Because zygote is a fertilized egg cell. So in other terms, sperm cell, that is male gamete, spermatogenesis, the process of the development of spermatozoa, or the growth and development of spermatozoa that is called spermatogenesis. Egg cell, the female gamete, the oogenesis is the process of the growth and development of the ova. Okay, gestation is the period of pregnancy or the period from breeding up to parturition or the delivery of the young. So that is covered by gestation. Petos, a young animal, the uterus, a time of a complete tissue differentiation until birth. So, a reproduction process will undergo these things. Fertilization, the zygote, zygote will develop fetus, and fetus will become an offspring after the total development inside the reproductive tract of female animals. Okay, now let's proceed to the organs of male reproductive tract. No? So we have also illustrations provided in your modules which was posted in our Google Classroom. So kindly read it carefully, kindly study, and review using this lecture video. Okay, so we have now the functions or the parts of male reproductive organs and their functions. Okay, the first is the testis. In our Hiligaynon term, most of us call them call this as itlo. But take note, it cannot be called as egg if they don't have eggshell. So we cannot call this this as egg because it don't have eggshell. Okay. So, a primary male reproductive organs, because there is two testicles, there are two testicles, responsible for the production of spermatozoa and the synthesis of male sex hormone testosterone. So, it was considered as a primary sex organ because it does two major functions of male reproductive system. The production of spermatozoa and the production of hormone testosterone. Okay. If you have noticed, 
after castration of the male animal. Siyempre, kayo wala ginakastrate ng female. They will not be attracted anymore to female animals. That is the main reason why they will not be attracted to female animals. Because by cutting or by taking out those testicles during castration process, they will not exhibit their maleness behavior because they are not producing any more spermatozoa and they are not synthesizing any more male sex hormone which is testosterone. Okay. So there are three structures inside the testis. Okay, we have the semiparous tubules. These are the set of germinal epithelium where spermatozoa are produced. Inside the testis, there are tubules. And this is where the spermatogenesis will take place or the growth and the development of sperm cells. Okay, next is the rib testis. The spongy-like cavernous structure will receive spermatozoa from the tubules. After spermatogenesis, the spermatozoa will go out to the rib testis. And there is basa eperentia or bas efferens connecting the red testis into epididymis. Basa eperentia are providing channels for the sperm cells to transport from the red testis to epididymis. So this is the uh, picture illustration of the cross section of the testis. So, we have here the uh, seminiferous tubules. So, these tubules are the set of the growth and the development of sperm cells. So, this cavernous structure, this is red testis. The uh, spermatozoa after the growth and development will go out to red testis. And basa eperentia, these are the tubules, a maximum of 20 tubules per testicles will provide them a channel to transport to the epididymis. So the sperm cells will stay here in the epididymis for ripening process. Okay. So this is the most site of the female animals where we can locate the testicles. Okay, another. The ampulla produces fructose and citric acid. So, you know what is fructose? Fructose is a fruit sugar. Okay. Umuna siling nila. Tam is guru ang semen, sir. Ambot, balo. Okay, why? Because fructose will be a component of the semen after the ampulla will produce it. So, fructose will serve as food of sperm cells in the semen. So, muna yung pagkaon sa sperm cell in order for the sperm cells to survive and will be will have the capacity of fertilizing the egg cells. 
and the citric acid will check the pH level of or the acidity of the semen for the survival also of the sperm cells. So it is the work of the ampulla to produce food for the sperm cells in the semen to produce citric acid to check the acidity of the semen. Okay, penis. So transport sperm cells from male to female. So penis is the erectile organ of the male animals. So I will quote some jokes that I have found in Facebook. What the penis is described was described as a gentleman in a magician. Okay, penis was described as the magician. Why? Because it bows down after it performs. Penis was described as gentleman because it bows down after meeting a woman. Okay. It is an erectile organ. In order to deposit properly the sperm cells, the semen inside the female reproductive tract, penis must undergo erection process. For better penetration, for better delivery of or insemination inside the female reproductive tract. So during a mating process or during coitus, blood pressure will activate this erectile tissue so that the penis will erect. So aside from erection, the length of the penis is also required because the ejaculation process should take place at the cervical region because the cervical region of the female animals will provide a better environment of the sperm cells to survive. So that is why if you have to raise, if you have to select Breeding animals, you have to consider also the erection process in the length of the penis. So that is why, the, that is one of the advantages of artificial insemination. Because there is really a standard length of the uh, rubber catheter in EI gun that will be used in inseminating the female animals. Okay, next, urethra. It transports urine and semen. Huh? Okay, the common passageway of semen and urine, urethra of the penis. Okay, copper's gland secretes an alkaline material which serves to clean the urethra prior to ejaculation. So, produce a lubricating substance. Okay, so it will check since the penis before ejaculation, can be found also inside the urethra. And the urethra, naturally, acidic because it's a passage also of the urine. So, in order to clean the urethra, okay, dapat si penis magsulod si female reproductive tract, hindi man siya acidic. So that, it will not affect the motility of the sperm cells. So it is the cowper's gland that will secrete alkaline material which serves to clean the urethra prior to ejaculation. And then another thing is to produce lubricating substance. 
penetration will not be uh, done properly if there is no lubrication. Hindi man makasulod rikta si penis kung sapnot, it must be lubricated. So it is the work of the cowper's gland to secure, to check the acidity of the urethra and to lubricate the penis. Okay, another is the prostate gland. Secretes a high mineral compositions that becomes a part of the semen. But aside from that, prostate gland has a an important role also in the female reproductive in the male reproductive process because it is the prostate glands who commands the whole seminal activity of the male reproductive system so what's going on the control center of the prostate gland so that is why sa tao most of the cases for all male animals nagka Sakit ang prostate. O mamangkot nga nga si prostate git. Because prostate has the most active functions in the male reproductive system as to the control of the seminal activity. The production of the semen which involves which compose sperm cells and other components. Okay, seminal vesicle creates a substance high in simple sugar fructose which serves as a nutrient for spermatozoa transport. So, do us the seminal vesicles called the ampullae, ampulla. They are producing fructose in order for the sperm cells to survive. So, kung lang taunin mo, a semen has a complete nutrients, components for the sperm cells to survive. Okay, semen, secretions of all accessory glands plus the sperm cells. So, arada ang, ang secretion ni prostate gland sa semen, arada ang secretion ni ampulla sa semen the fructose in the citric acid ara da ang fructose nga um, gain secret ni seminal vesicles plus the sperm cells which is from the testicles those things comprises comprise the semen Okay, another illustration of the male reproductive system of P. Okay, retractor penis muscles extends in the tract's penis during copulation. Okay, as observed, there is a pull in post movement of the penis during the mating process. May duso butong kung sa iligay nun pa. It is being conducted because it is the work of the retractor penis muscles. Okay, what is the purpose of extending and retracting in order to deliver properly the sperm cells before ejaculation? It must be extended in order for a proper penetration into the female reproductive system. It retracts after copulation. Okay, siyempre, ano na iyakaroon ng matabo pag hindi i-retracts? Because these are, there are cases also, in my personal experience, there are cases also when there is a failure of retractor penis muscles. Okay, the penis no? will not be Retracted inside the urethra. So, araw lang siya sa guwa gabi tayo. Asta nga, ma-infect siya. Okay. Another thing of the purpose of post and pull movement of the penis during copulation. 
the post involve movement of the penis during copulation will motivate the clitoris of the female animal. Because if the female animal will not be properly motivated, their cervix will not widely open. And our purpose is, we have, there is a proper motivation so that the cervix will open widely. There, uh, there will be a proper deposition of the semen during ejaculation. When there is the proper placement of semen during ejaculation, there will be a chance of higher fertilization rate. Okay, scrotum. Maintain the temperature of 2 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit of the testis. Serve as protection of the testis. The scrotum is the outside sac that protects the testicles. So aside from protection, it serves as a thermoregulatory organ of the scrotum. It is called as thermoregulatory organ because it maintains the temperature, the required temperature of the scrotum. Okay, why there is a need for the maintenance of the temperature for the testis? Because 2 to 8 degrees Fahrenheit are the needed temperature for the testis to perform spermato. Genesis. In the increase of the temperature above 8 degrees Fahrenheit, it will affect also the function of the testes, which the two functions which are the production of spermatozoa and the synthesis of hormone testosterone. Okay, so that is why during a cooler environment, the scrotum will retract. Makunol. Because it will make the testicles to be closer to the body cavity in order to meet the required temperature of the testicles. And during a warmer environment, it extends to keep away the testicles from the body cavity. That is how scrotum will act as thermoregulatory organ of the testis. Okay, next we have the sheath. Sheath produce opening of the male productive tract or the skin covering the penis. So, array ang shed. So, muna siyang panit nga ga kudo ga, ga, tab, ga cover sa penis. No? Okay, spermatic cord supports the testes. Okay, muna siya ang ginatawag na spermatic cord. Sa sulod, ang kanal na gina tagyan is called the urethra. Okay, tonica vaginalis, a membrane covering the testis. I don't know if you have already experiences in doing the castration. Because after lacerating the skin outside covering, there is a uh, white membrane covering testis that you will see after uh, having illustration. So that's, that is called tonica vaginalis. Okay. Okay, so we have here another illustration of the reproductive tract of a roster. 
Roster as a very simple reproductive tract. No? They have also testicles which can be found inside the body cavity. Then they have ibas deferens. So it provides a uh, passageway of sperm cells from the testicles. And then there is a cloaca and then the vent. Ang pinakabuli sa manok. And then the papalye. So the upper portion is the exit of the sperm cells from the testicles during population process. Okay, we have the parts of the sperm cells. No? So, this is not in our module. That is why I have decided to place it in, a, in my presentation. So, the head, the chromosomes, contain the chromosomes and enzymes to break down the wall. No? So, it is only the sperm cells that can uh, break the wall of the um, egg cells during fertilization because it has an enzyme capable of breaking down the wall okay the neck it connects the body to the head in the middle piece is the storehouse for energy and the tail to propel the sperm cell a sperm cell will travel for almost 8 hours from the site of ejaculation reaching the site of egg cell for fertilization. So it is very important to have a normal tail because it will propel maning matimon sa ila pakad to sa site sa Fertilization. If they will have a defective tail, it will be hard for the sperm cells to reach the site of fertilization. Okay, we have the types of abnormal cell. It can be considered as abnormal if they are tailless. It has two heads. It has two tails and a pear shaped head. So, in semen processing, all of these things are being checked to ensure a, practice, a processed semen that will produce sperm cells, higher normal sperm cells. Okay, if the work of the male reproductive system is to produce sperm cells and to deposit it to the female reproductive tract, female reproductive tract will do a more complex function than the male reproductive system. Why? Okay, it will handle the fertilization, it will handle the growth and development of the embryo during the pregnancy, and until such time that it will be the rebel normally. Okay, the first is ovary. Primary sex organ of the female reproductive system, the counterpart of the testicles. So ovary is responsible for the production of uh, egg cells or the ovum through the process of oogenesis. And the growing egg cells are producing the female sex hormone, which is estrogen. Okay. So, ovary 
is the primary sex organ of female animals. Okay, vulva. It serves as the opening of the female reproductive tract. The uh, outside appearance. Kung sila nila, kung, kung iyas ang tao, kinatawo. Ano ang iyas ang sapat? Kung baboy, kinababoy. Kung baka, kinabaka. Okay, it served as the opening of the female reproductive tract. The common passageway of penis during um, copulation, the passageway of urine, the passageway also of the offspring during parturition period. Okay, next is the clitoris. If the male animal has a penis as an erectile uh, organ of the male reproductive system, the female has the clitoris. It can be found at the middle, upper middle part of the vulva. As I have said a while ago, the purpo another purpose of heaving a post in pole movement of the penis during copulation is to motivate the clitoris. Because once clitoris will be motivated, it will increase sexual excitement of the female during copulation. So as I have said also that when there is a, prase, a proper motivation of the clitoris, it will lead to a wide opening of the sperm cells in which it will have a proper deposition of the semen during population process. So it must be motivated. Okay, same with uh, the penis. Clitoris also is composed of erectile tissues. Okay. So as illustrated, there is a penis. No? So sa buho sang bulba ara winada si clitoris. In order for when the penis will penetrate, clitoris will be motivated by a post in pole movement. So this is a reproductive tract of ikaw. So we have in an ovary here. Okay, vagina. Serve as a channel for birth of fetus receive male penis during copulation. So, muning permigi na talangan ta. The vulva and the vagina. Take note, vagina is internal, vulva is external. You cannot see vagina outside because it is the external genitalia of the female reproductive tract. So as illustrated, <coughs> this is the vulva and inside is the vagina. So that is why do not be uh, do not uh, misinterpret Bulba to vagina. Okay, cervix. As a divider between the vagina and the uterus. So, the opening of the uterus is the cervix. In the cervical area is the proper place of ejaculation because it gives the uh, better environment for the survivability of the sperm cells during population period.
And take note, unlike with humans, the cervix of the farm animals will open only during estrus period. When they become in heat, it will be the time that the cervix will open. And it will close again if there is pregnancy and it will open during parturition. So, you cannot make your animals to be pregnant if you have to do a force breeding. Because even you force the animals to be bred, the female animals, there will be no fertilization because there will be no entrance of sperm cells inside. The semen will not be deposited inside. Okay, the uterus secretes a fluid of mucus that forms a plug at the end of the cervix inside the uterus when pregnancy occurs. It is also the uterus who will take care of the development of the fetus inside during pregnancy period. Okay, the reproductive tract of a cow, another illustration. We have the, the vulva or the vaginal orifice. No? We have the vagina. We have the cervix here. We have the uterus. We have the ovary. We have the palopian tube and the uterine horns. Okay, this is a very simple illustration, but it will it has a capacity of bearing 14 piglets during pregnancy period. And only uterus has the capacity of expanding 300 times of its normal size, especially during pregnancy. That is why, as I have said, even this is a smaller illustration, a smaller one, but this uterus can bear 14 piglets during pregnancy. So, may ara ganit ka bata, 40. Kaidik. May nagsabat man. May ara pa yung ganit nga 50, sir. So, 50, 40, kaya ang nagbata 40, kaya apat man iya na yun. Nagbata 50, kaya lima man iya na yun. Okay, horns of the uterus serves as place for embryo to develop into a fetus, serve as place where fertilization occurs. So uterine horns are the site of fertilization. The fertilization through conception process, zygote will be placed inside the uterus. Okay. We have here also a illustration of the reproductive tract of a hen. So, the reproductive tract of a hen is unique compared with livestock because it is their ovary is open type. The ovum or the yolk are growing outside but can be found inside the body cavity. And if the uh, ovary of livestock is to the left and the right. A hen or a poultry has only one functioning ovary, which is the left. Okay. It, to, it has two major parts. The ovary, where the yolk are growing, and the whole tract is called oviduct. But oviduct, have different structures or parts. We have the infundibulum, magnum, isthmus, uterus, vagina, cloaca, or ben. Okay. When the yolk will mature, it will drop inside the infundibulum. Infundibulum is a panel-shaped structure of the oviduct. It cuts the yolk from the ovary. 
If the yolk will be dropped inside the ependibulum, it will wait for fertilization process. So, aside from catching, ependibulum also will be the place of fertilization. But take note, with or without fertilization, the egg process will continue. Okay, from ependibulum, the egg yolk will drop no? in the magnum area. Magnum area, magnum is the, share, the albumin secreting portion. Magnum will take charge of the formation of albumin or the egg white. If the yolk will be dropped inside the magnum, magnum will cover the yolk with albumin. So after the formation of the albumin inside the magnum, the yolk or the egg will proceed to isthmus. Isthmus is the shell membrane secreting portion. Ano na, magkaon ka itlog nga lina, aga pag-abre po mo sang shell may puti nga membrane. So that is shell membrane. So it is the work of the isthmus to cover Okay, so we will continue. Okay, sorry for the power interruption. Okay, so after the uh, formation of the albumin inside the magnum, the egg will proceed to the isthmus. So isthmus is uh, the uh, shell membrane secreting portion. And after... Uh, the formation of the shell membrane, the egg will proceed to the uterus. The uterus is called also as the uh, uh, eggshell secreting portion. So this is where the egg will stay much longer for the formation of the eggshell. So after the formation of the eggshell, the egg will comes out through the vagina to the cloaca and the vent. Okay. So normally, the egg process will last for 24 and one half hours. So therefore, it will be possible for the hen to lay eggs twice a day. 
because as the period of the completion of egg formation will last 24 in one half hours. So, kung may manok kada nga dagduha ang itlog, tatlong itlog kada daw dal adi kay pasar ka na. Okay, so, that ends our lesson. I hope that uh, you have um, you have uh, uh, clearly um, understand my video presentation and uh, you may also uh, read our reading material in the Google Classroom for you to expand your knowledge. So that's all for uh, this time. Good day. Happy learning.